Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my channel. I am Luke. Thanks for watching. You joined me this morning um, on the way to our first drop of the day, which is the same drop we went to on the last vlog, which was also my first drop of the day. Only difference being, in the last vlog, we were getting there for nine o'clock in the morning, and today we're getting there for seven o'clock in the morning. So we're, you know, a good two hours ahead of schedule, which is good. Um, the problem is, I've never been to this place before during early hours of the morning, so I don't know what the roads are like. I don't know if they're busy, um, because last time we went there, there's cars parked all over the place. Um, the place we're going to is Sydenham's, and it's kind of like on a bend. They don't open until, I think, half seven to the general public, so the gates are probably going to be shut. So I don't know whether I can stroll straight in, whether I need to park up around the corner and walk up, I don't know. We're gonna find out in a sec, because we're literally just around the corner now. We need to do another 180 around this roundabout and then go on in. But yeah, that, <coughs> yeah, sorry, that's the first job for the day. Totten. And then after that, we've got to go to Millbrook, which is just back there where we've just been. Um, got to go to Selco. And then after that, then we've got to go to Andover, but I'm not sure if it's a Travis Perkins or a build base. Look at that car lights look ahead, the brake lights. They're proper flashing then. They're not flashing now, but they were. So yeah, three runs planned for today. This week, we've done three runs every day, so I'm sure my boss is gonna be happy with that. I'm gonna finish the week uh, with 15 bulk bag deliveries completed, if you like. So that's good. I don't know how much he gets paid per delivery, but assuming it was 100 pound. Then I've just made them 1,500 quid, take my wage out, which is uh, just well, about half of that, really. Just under half of that for the week. And then Diesel, he's probably left with a 100 or 200 pound profit. <laughs> Not a lot, is it? Right, I hate this merging here, because you can't actually merge. That's against the law to merge there. So I need to let everybody know that my intention is to come over to the left and watch as everybody don't pay attention. Oh, that car's flashing me. Thank you very much. And now I will get in here just to uh, get my trailer off the road. Right, so let's have a look. Let's see how busy it is down here. Um, I mean, it's still pretty busy. The car wants to come out a bit too far. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, see, this, this might cause problems here because I don't think the gate's open. Yeah, it looks open, that's good. It's open. Now we need to see if we can get on in. But yeah, I'm just gonna drive in because it's just easier. I'm off the road. So I need to just park up over here and then go and see someone. Let them know I'm here. I'll park out the way a little bit. Right, one day views with you in a bit. Right, we are now tipped, and we need to get out of here. So we've got to do the same as what we did last time, we've got to go back and then do a 180 turn. However, this time it's dark, so it's a little bit harder to see the things behind me. Yeah, we're clear. Do, do, do. Uh. 
Easy peasy. It's not that tight of a yard compared to other yards that I've had to get out of. Like the posh place in my last vlog. I mean, I've been to tighter ones than that, but it is quite tight. Right, hopefully no one's parked in my way. Of course, you can't see yet because I'm inside the yard and I can't film inside the yard completely. Right, I'm halfway out of the yard so you can see now. Dash cam is on, let's turn right. Let's rock and roll. We're on the move. So ETA back in Southampton is 20 past eight. So half an hour away from now, give or take. It should also be light by the time we get back, so that'd be good. And then we can uh, get on with the rest of our day. Got to come back to Millbrook and then to Andover. So see you guys in a sec and we'll be on our way to Millbrook. Right, situation is this. We are loaded to go to Millbrook, which is the other side of the river in Southampton. Uh, the problem is um, I'm racing against another driver. There was another driver that turned up behind me and he's going to the same place as me. Now, he actually works for the company that I'm delivering on behalf of. Um, and they have passes to go over Itchin Bridge. They haven't got to pay to go over like I do. So even though he turned up behind me and he's going to the same place as me, but he's got less distance to travel. So I'm in a race to get there before he gets there. The problem is, I think he's probably going to beat me, which is he's actually going to annoy me a little bit, but I'm hoping we can beat him. We'll find out. Uh, it being an actual like day aggregates truck, it'd be green. So that's the plan. We're going to try and get there before he has. Now, I've gone a long way around on the M27 because it's seven minutes quicker. So, and I, if I don't get there before him, I'm going to be waiting an hour or so, probably nearly an hour at least before I even go in. So. It is vital that I try and get there before he does so I can get back and then do my home run. We will see. We're nearly there. We're only 10 minutes away. So, um, hopefully we get there before he does, but it's going to be very tight. Right, so, there's Salka over there, that yellow building. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I can't quite see yet if there's a lorry in there. See, matey boy, the guy we're trying to beat is going to be coming from the other way. Right, so there's no one queuing up to get in. And there's no one in there yet. So as long as I can turn around at this roundabout and get in before he does, I'll be straight in. It's going to be close. He's going to come straight over that flyover. Whereas I need to turn around and come back on myself. So I've got red lights to deal with. But at the moment, there's no one there, which is good. So more good news is that I've only got pallets on. I've got no bolt bags, it's just plain pallets, um, which is good because for every two pallets, it's the equivalent to three bags. What that means is it's a third quicker to get tipped. Now, typically it takes about an hour to get tipped. So a third of 60 minutes is 20 minutes. So in theory, it should only take 40 minutes to be fully tipped, in theory. Um, and I've got 20 pallets on, so that means two minutes a pallet, which is actually plenty of time. If anything, it should be done a little bit quicker than that. But um, so I'm hoping I can get out around about half an hour. See, so he could have he could have gone over now without me knowing. Oh, it's going to be so tight. I guarantee, if I get there before he does, it'll, it'll be behind me by five minutes. guarantee it. I would really like to get there before him. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. Checking my mirrors furiously to see if he's behind me. Imagine if he was just coming over now, like side by side. Imagine that. 
I wouldn't let him go in first because I left first, so I should be allowed to go in first. Let's see, is he in there? Oh, one of their lorries have just turned up, so I will have to wait for one of their lorries to get loaded. But it does look like I've beaten the other day aggregate lorry, which is good. It's very good. So I'm here first. I do have to wait for them to load their other lorry though. So that might take a while. And the other day aggregate lorry is gonna be behind me by five minutes or so I reckon. I might be allowed to go straight in because sometimes it's big enough for two lorries to get in. So I'll have to go make an acquaintance and uh, find out. Right, so we're tipped. Uh, it's 10 o'clock now. I can't remember what time we got here. It's half nine, wasn't it? So uh, yeah, it's about half an hour, so that's good. So it's a very, very quick tip, nice and quick, half an hour long. And now we're going to head back to our good old home base of Southampton to be loaded by our home run to Andover. And we're going to build base next. So um, I didn't know earlier which which site I was going to, um, Travis Perkins or Build Base. We were going to Build Base, which is actually uh, slightly less distance. It's only like a mile in it, but it's, so it's a mile closer, a mile less I've got to do, which means it's two miles because I've got to go there and back to Travis Perkins. Uh, and also, they're genuinely quite fast as well. So, what's that lorry doing? Is he going left? Yeah, they're, they're genuinely quite fast as well uh, to tip. So, um, all good basically all good indeed right we want to be turning left here turn left turn left oh uh that day aggregates lorry literally turned up four minutes after i did that's four minutes ahead of it uh so it's very very uh touch and go as to who was going to get there first uh but bear in mind i had to go the long way around as well so he went over Richmond Bridge, which I didn't need to do. But, well, I couldn't do. So uh, I actually had to go further, longer, faster, stronger. That's what they say, isn't it? Can you rest? But John over. Right, so we're going to make our way back now to Southampton, get loaded for Andover. And there we go, look at that green lorry over there. I don't know if you saw it on the left. And, uh, yeah, he's got to wait now because there's two of their own lorries and he'd load in, so wouldn't want to be him. Anyway, let's crack on. See you in a bit. Righty-ho, so we are loaded with our third and final load. We're just coming off the A303 now. It's going to Andover. Uh, on board we got, I think we've got six pallets, maybe seven pallets. Uh, the rest of it is bolt bag, so I suspect it's probably going to be here for about an hour or so. So I'm going to be here it's just nearly 12 o'clock now, so I'm running around the corner, so I'm going to be here about 12 o'clock, hoping we can leave for about 1 o'clock, and uh, probably be back in the yard for about half past 2, I would imagine. Half past 2 is my current estimation. <coughs> we will see. We will see. Need to wash the car at some point, so I might come in over the weekend. People always say, why did you go into work over the weekend? I literally live a mile away um, from, from where I work. I mean, I don't see it as work. I'm coming in to wash it because I want to. I like, I like it clean. So I don't see it as work. And uh, it's, like I said, I literally, I could walk to work if I really wanted to. I live so close. That's what, one of the things that um, makes this job so good. It's just so close. Obviously, I don't walk to work because I'm a lazy git. <laughs> I drive, but um, that's not the point. 
in my new Honda Civic Type S GTI VTEC, I might add. So, uh, yeah, I bought one. For those of you who don't follow me on my Facebook page, um, and those of you who don't actually follow me on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Uh Yeah, I commented on there saying that um, I got a new car, so I bought myself a new car to get to work, to and from work. I had an old Civic before, now I've got a new Civic. So, yeah, yeah. 59 plates, 140 brake horsepower, so it's more than enough for what I need it. It's good. Then I've also got a Nissan Qashqai, seven seater for me and the girlfriend and kids. And uh, that's 130 brake as well, that goes some for diesel. Anywho, so we want to be going right at this roundabout. The sat nav is telling me to go left, but we don't listen to the sat nav. Actually, I'm not going right, I'm going straight over. Good job that van is going left. That left lane was left only anyway, so I was in the right lane. So it's not the end of the world. This place, um, I'm, so for those of you who don't know yet, I've gone to build base in Andover. I think I mentioned it earlier. There's actually a guy working here who watches my vlog, so um, I don't know what your name is, but thanks very much for watching. If you are watching now, this would be all very familiar for you because obviously you work here. <coughs> I never drive in. Okay, you come on. You come on through, mate, if you want. Um, yeah, I never just drive in, so I always pull up outside, put the hazards on, walk in and double check first before just driving in. Um, however, that being said, I've done that before here and then someone else has just driven in while I'm on the road waiting. Because they were decided they wanted to be a bastard that day and I'm, again, I'm sorry for swearing. Right, so we're going to put the hazards on now. And we're going to park outside the build base. Uh, it looks good. It looks like I can go straight in. And they can see me. So I wonder if they're going to wave me in. Just wait to see if anyone waves me in. But I don't look like it. No, it doesn't look like anyone's going to wave me in, so I'm going to have to go and walk in. Right, see you in a bit. Right, let's get out of here. Just got to reverse back a little bit so we can get past the truck which is in front of me. More than enough. Alright, I'll say bye to him. <laughs> There's two of them. Right, so, firstly, the sun has decided to make an appearance today, so, hello sun, welcome to the vlog. Secondly, we're now done, and we are now officially heading back to the yard. And for a Friday afternoon, an ETA of two minutes past two is not bad. Going to be in the yard for about two o'clock. If there's no one on the wash, then I will wash the truck, so I haven't got to come in over the weekend. But if there is someone on the wash, I ain't waiting. I hate waiting to wash the truck. If they're nearly done, I will, but like, some people just take ages to wash their truck and I've said before, there's a guy who actually lives in the yard. He's like security, but he also washes all the trucks. Gets them ready for MOTs and things like that. He's, uh, I think he's Polish. And he's always on the wash. And it, whenever I want to go on the wash, it'll uh, it'll take longer to, to wash the truck. And they go, you come back weekend, me wash now, two hours. And in the past, I've said, that's fine, I will wait and he's done in 20 minutes. But um, I can't be bothered to wait, not even 20 minutes. I park up around the corner and clean the inside of the cab and then check to see if it's free again for the outside and, I don't know, or might just even queue up and clean the inside while I'm waiting to get on the wash. I'll have to wait and see. Depends on who's on the wash, how many people are waiting, if any. I need to get fuel as well when I get back to the yard, so. 
plenty of to do. I'll be there for about two o'clock, but I won't be leaving at two. You probably won't leave until about half three. Uh, sorry, half two. I hope I'm not there until half three. On a Friday. Anywho, let's go. I will see you when we are getting close to the yard and you'll see, as well as me, whether there's anyone on the wash. So we're nearly here now. Uh, someone has just flashed me going through Calcutt Street driving a lorry with what looked like scaffolding on the back. I'm not sure, it was something metal. Uh, whoever you were, you flashed me and you put your thumb up. So I can only assume that you watch my videos. So thanks mate for spotting me on the road. Uh, and also someone else spotted me actually on the A34. Yes. So uh, coming, they were going down towards Southampton. So again, whoever you were, thanks for spotting me. So yes, we anyway, we are nearly here now. I've uh, just gone past a couple of horses. There's two ways to get into the yard and it doesn't really matter which way you go. They're both equal distances. Oh my God, are you trying to overtake that cyclist? I genuinely thought he was going to try and overtake that cyclist then. He looked like he was going to. Anyway, um, yeah, we're nearly here and uh, Gonna see if we can wash the truck. It is three minutes to oh, just spat everywhere. It's three, three minutes to two. So nice and early. Got plenty of time to stay in the yard. I do need to swing out to the right hand side of the road to get around here. I don't have to, but it's, it helps. All clear. We're able to overtake the cycle list straight away. So yeah, we um, I plan on giving the truck a wash inside and out. Take my bed in home, give it a wash as well. And uh, yeah, my girlfriend's a childminder, so she's home. She works from home, but she looks after children until like five o'clock anyway. So even if I did go straight home. There's a load of children in the house, do you know what I mean? So I can't really just, can't go home and have a pint and put my feet up and watch TV because there's a load of kids around, do you know what I mean? So I might as well spend an hour or so here cleaning the cab and then I ain't got to do it over the weekend. Indicated a little bit early there, but never mind. Chalworth Industrial Estate. Down we go. Alright, so hopefully no one's on the wash. Could really do with no one on the wash. If there is someone on the wash, then we'll just fill up with fuel. So that's where I used to work out of there. Um, yeah, it looks like there's someone on the wash, so I'm not going to be able to use it. Never mind. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, until next time, drive safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.